Faux Film Festival's first night is always a glamorous affair, and this year was no exception with Robert De Niro as the guest of honor. Showcases Miranda as he was at the opening night by the red carpet. Each year, Bosnia's capital plays host to what is the biggest film industry event in Southeast Europe, the Sarajevo Film Festival. It was part of our mission from the very, very beginning to, to try and help the development of the film industry around us, not only to be the showcase of films. So uh, over the course of these 20 plus years, I think the festival has uh, been doing exactly this. It has turned into a, a platform for filmmakers to uh, develop their projects, to try and find and raise financing. We know how, how hard that part is, especially in, in, in a countries in this part of Europe, uh, the market where the market is not that strong and uh, where public support is uh, kind of uh, minimal. So connecting all these dots has been really uh, also a big part of what this festival was doing. This is the 22nd edition of the Sarajevo Film Festival. Over the course of eight days, 2,000 official guests are due to attend. More than 200 films will be screened and 10 Heart of Sarajevo prizes will be given out, including the Lifetime Achievement Award for Robert De Niro. De Niro collected his award on the opening night from festival director Mirsad Purivatra. Like De Niro's own festival, Tribeca, which began after 9-11, the Sarajevo Film Festival came into being in the midst of tragedy during the Bosnian War in 1995. I feel that there's a sort of intimacy in this place, that the, they concentrate on filmmaking and that um, there's an energy. Uh, it, it would feel like we're still in golden time for the cinema, which is not exactly the case once we leave here. I have a very sort of close relationship with the festival. I've been quite a few times here. I enjoy being here. I think that the fact that where it's positioned historically is also quite interesting. The amount of challenge they had to put up in order to create the festival. So I think that's what makes a lot of care and a lot of uh, protective personalities who work the festival and try to make it with as little money as they have, but with the utmost capacity. So there is something that also maybe I can say which is not defined. I think there's in certain places there's something poetic and that you cannot really pinpoint, you just feel. With 44 world premieres this year, there's plenty for film lovers to enjoy until the 20th of August. But behind the scenes, the festival also provides industry heavyweights with opportunities to connect and share ideas. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yes, we're at the Sarajevo Film Festival and the festival's director, Mirsal Purivatra, is with us right now to give us a bit more information. Hello and welcome to Showcase. Hello, thank you very much for having me. Could you tell us a little bit about the festival's history? How did it come to be? It has started uh, since uh, 22 years ago mm -hmm. as a small project uh, during the war. It was the uh, first festival uh, under the siege of Sarajevo, under the grenades, under the sniping, but uh, great people around the film world decided to show the films and to attract people to come and to celebrate uh, art, celebrate culture in spite of the all uh, aggression and in spite of all barbarism and that was how we have started. Right. Tell us about this year, 2016. What are some of the highlights? What are the screenings? What's going on this year? We are international film festival with focus on the region and the region uh, starts from uh, Austria and, and uh, Hungary mm -hmm. uh, because 50 years uh, Bosnia was uh, under the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. But from the other side, uh, we had uh, more than 500 uh, years uh, Ottoman Empire here. Right. And I think it's a crossing point and we would like to show the best what the region from Vienna till Istanbul is offering uh, in film industry, but also to uh, show so many new projects and so many new talents uh, from the region. 
Right. Well, documentaries are a huge part of this festival, more so than any other festival we know. Tell us why. Because I think, I, I think it's very simple, because it's a still area with so many untold stories. Mm -hmm. It's a still very fragile. I think that we are facing here uh, the fall of the socialism from one side and uh, on the other side we have a very strong uh, uh, globalization process and right. I think that we are faced with so many interesting stories with uh, private stories with community stories with the uh, state stories and I think uh, that's the reason why this uh, area is so interesting on the other side we have so many talented authors who are interested to tell the story about the time we live in right well, tell us about the initiative that you started called Dealing with the Past. Yeah, that's uh, our uh, attempt uh, to say through the film uh, some of the stories we are still uh, uh, covering somewhere or hiding somewhere in the drawers. Mm -hmm. It's the, our attempt to say some testimonies, some archive materials, uh, about the stories what politicians never wanted to uh, explore or to show to the people. I think that young generation has to face our history and right. we have to accept what was in mm -hmm. the period in the 90s when we had a terrible war here mm -hmm. and I think that's the way how we can build uh, the future. It's a step to the future. Tell us about the awards that this festival gives out and the coveted Heart of Sarajevo. Uh, sorry, could you? Tell us about some of the awards that the festival uh -huh. gives out and the heart of Sarajevo. Yeah, every year we have a regular uh, awards for the best films, but mm -hmm. in the same time we want to uh, thank to the people who were uh, close to Sarajevo, close to Sarajevo Film Festival, who help, uh, helped us to create such big festival and such influential festival. And uh, this year we are celebrating three people. One of them is a Swiss uh, 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 man who was a uh, attaché, cultural attaché in Sarajevo, mm -hmm. who helped us to rebuild uh, one cultural center in the cinema where we have a festival now. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, Stephen Frears, uh, great, one of the best uh, film directors in the world, uh, who visited Sarajevo several times and uh, was all time ambassador, telling other directors, actors, uh, how great city and how great festival we have. Mm -hmm. And the third one is uh, for sure the famous and the great uh, uh, icon of the film, uh, films, uh, Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to thank him uh, not only for his amazing career in the last 50 years, but also for support to Sarajevo in the 2000, when he established the Tribeca Film Festival after 9-11 attacks, he told that uh, Sarajevo was uh, one of his inspirations. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been here a few days and it feels a lot less informal than festivals like Berlin or Cannes. Everything's really close together, we can walk everywhere. Did you do that atmosphere on purpose so people can... Yeah, I think that Sarajevo is that kind of the city. I think that warm hospitality we have uh, here by any of the citizens is also some kind of the uh, signal mm -hmm. that uh, this city wants to have a film festival which is a little bit different. And right. I could uh, explain, I could uh, describe this festival as a human-sized festival, that right. everyone is uh, available, that everyone likes to share uh, his or her time with uh, young talents. Uh, that was the same with De Niro, with uh, in the previous year so many other guests as uh, big stars as Morgan Freeman or Kevin Spacey, Angelina Jolie. Mm -hmm. They really spend their time with the talents, uh, going to the city, spending time with the ordinary people. And I think that's something what Sarajevo deserve, deserve it and what Sarajevo appreciate. To, yes. to have a normal life and that there is no stars. Yeah, there are no stars and have a real life. Yeah. That's a great note to finish on. Mirsal Puruwatna, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.